Hi, everybody. I want to take a few minutes to show you how to post in a Moodle form if you've never done so before. So remember, you want to look at your session overview, which has all of your due dates, and we've tried to stagger those um, so they're not all due at the same time, but we want to make sure we have time for people to reply to each other. Once you read the directions in the assignment, you view the um, website, video, or read articles, then you're going to be respond, asked to respond to certain questions. Those questions are located in the assignment. They're also located in your forum. So there they are again. Some people like to copy and paste these so that they know that they've answered all the questions and know that you need to reply to at least two of your peers. When you're ready to respond, you're really going to um, add a new discussion topic. Now, if this WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, does not appear, that means that you are not using a browser that supports Moodle. So if you're using Internet Explorer, chances are you do not see this. There are so many things that I can't even begin to tell you that if you don't use Firefox or Chrome, that you will really be missing out um, in this Moodle course. Now, I do not suggest, I, I just really find that if you try to start your answer here in the text editing box, that if you take a long time to complete your answer and you go to post at the bottom, you could potentially lose your work and your back button will not get it back. I promise you I learned this myself when I was taking my first online Moodle course. What I recommend is if you have a Google Doc, which I think is the easiest thing to do and everyone should be using Google Docs, is you actually compose your answer here and that way if anything goes wrong you have your answer it's never gonna go away so there it is so then you copy and paste or right click do your shortcut keys and then um, you can copy that and then you jump over into your course and you paste it now when you go to do your URLs when you get your web address or the universal web locator for your tool of the weeks, you definitely want to um, go ahead and put those in there when you give your brief outline, you would give your link, but make it nice on folks and go ahead and link that. And remember, this is what you see is what you get. So if you want to link something, you look for the little link. Um, you just put the link right there. It's always nice to make it open in a new window and you say insert and this now makes this a live link and these will be what you use for your tool of the week. Um, you will actually send us to a Vokey that you've created, a Toon Dune that you've created, etc. And then underneath you would give us a brief outline. So for your larger forum posts, I highly suggest you create them in a, in a, in a Google Doc. Then you copy and paste them here. The other thing I want to point out to you here is you really want to make sure that you toggle I don't want email copies, otherwise your email box will blow up, all right? You don't have to click mail now, just go ahead and post to forum, all right? I hope that helps.